everything inside me. Bitcoin is, and remains, a totally bogus item. I hate to say it, but I agree with the likes of Christine Lagarde and others who say Bitcoin is just a speculative asset, and not a means of exchange. Market cap is a trillion now. If there is 10 billion worth of real commercial trade in Bitcoin, it'll be a lot. This means, that one Bitcoin, circulates every hundred years. That's insane, that has nothing to do with money. Bitcoin is a total Ponzi, going up because of new money, much from the printing press, coming in. And it will go down when money printing ends, which seems to be around now. Also, I'm suspecting Bitcoin did its job for the banksters. It made electronic cashless money hip. It indeed paved the way for a global cashless currency. But it won't be it. It's going to be regulated to death, once it crashes, I think. The real cashless electronic currencies will be run by the central banks, not some free market outfit. China incidentally just last week started theirs, it's operational now. The ECB, BOE, the Fed, they're all developing their own. I very strongly suspect we could see a crash in months. Here's why. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. I very strongly suspect we could see a crash in months. Here's why. A. The lockdown planning. That state's end of Q2 economic collapse. B. Demands by the Fed for higher capital reserves by banks and hedge funds. This is being downplayed, but I have a very bad feeling about that one. C. Rising rates on the bond market. This really means the Fed is losing control. That's the last thing they want. That is, world power wants it, but the Fed is dying. This is the real issue. You said, and I totally understand, that a gold standard seems unlikely. But the fact of the matter is, all eastern central banks are loaded with gold. Just this week, it was reported, that Hungary raised its gold holdings 3,000%, from 3 to a 100 tons in the last few years. This has been ongoing even in Western Europe, where Holland, Germany, have been trying to get their gold back from Ford Knox. Russia and especially China have been buying incredible amounts of it. And who is suppressing gold? The Fed. And who is dying? The Fed. The Petrodler. The US Empire. Central banks adore gold. All the gold standards of the past were run by the central banks. The BIS, the apex of the world central bank system, has been promoting deleveraging ever since 2008. And they will get their way, and gold is perfect for a good, burning deflation depression deleveraging. The Great Reset is about the reset of the financial system. That's what it's all about. Debt can't grow anymore, there's too much of it, debt service is no longer affordable. This is the key issue. Something must be done, and soon now. I suspect the catalyst events are going to be some huge defaults in the US. Germany too, but America is the key target. Once these defaults come, or to prevent them, the reset is going to be made. I think that's only months away. When that happens, the Fed will finally have to abandon gold suppression, and it will soar very high. There's widespread support for gold in the US among the patriots. Suicidally so, because it will destroy them. America will then also start abandoning large parts of its empire, especially Europe and the Middle East. 
America will reject the World Economic Forum Great Reset and Sustainable Development Goals, and will go its own way. They will end up isolated. Just as Kissinger was talking about the other day. And this will set them up for the final clash. In a recent interview, Jerome Powell said a cyber attack is a real threat. Officials were bracing for a range of scenarios, from payment utility breakdowns concerning individuals and large financial institutions, to the financial system being brought to a halt. There are cyber attacks every day on all major institutions now, Powell noted. And the government is working hard on that. So are all the private sector companies. There's a lot of effort going in to deal with those threats. That's a big part of the threat picture in today's world. For the record, President Biden took office a month after it was revealed that suspected Russian hackers launched a massive cyber attack on multiple government agencies and U.S. companies. The Biden administration is working on an executive order to bolster federal cybersecurity, following the hacking of SolarWinds and the Microsoft Exchange server, which was targeted by a cyber espionage unit backed by the Chinese government, it emerged earlier this month. Homeland Security Secretary, Alejandro Mayorkas, outlined earlier this month, a plan to counter online attacks, and said the Biden administration is committed to a newly created Senate-confirmed National Cyber Director role for success, but the position has yet to be filled. He mentions it in the context of Fed electronic currency, of which he says it would come in handy, when the banks can't manage the payment system anymore, because of such an attack. But we're actually nearing a breakdown so big that the banks could stop functioning. So I take this as an announcement. This is apparently the scenario they're planning to sell what's coming. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video.